How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Okay, so we're going to try to squeeze in two half-hour sessions here? Yes. All right. Do you have problems that you can verbalize? or? Um, I think so. We're doing um, parabolas, ellipses, and um, hyperbolas. Okay. And I'm just, I guess, confused on the concepts of them, I guess. Okay. On She has... Um, Finding the equation and then finding the vertex, focus, and directrix. Okay. Where do you want? So, um, you want to start with parabolas, ellipses, or hyperbolas? And that's usually the. Um, let's do parabolas. Okay. Just do one thing here. I'll make sure. Because parabolas use a use the formula that has p in it, correct? We have um, let's see. Standard equation is uh, yeah, four p. Right. Um, all right. Let me. So, in in other words, up until now, you had always dealt with that equation mm -hmm. or the standard format format for a parabola was actually this equation right okay so now they're changing it um, this equation handled parabolas that were vertical or horizontal okay in other words, they either looked like that, I meant vertical up or vertical down. Mm -hmm. Okay. This equation works fine for those. But this equation doesn't really pay much attention to the focus or the directrix. It's mm -hmm. almost like there's two different parabolas. There's the parabola you get when you first study quadratic equations. In algebra. Mm -hmm. And then there's the parabola you get when you start to study conic sections. And when you study conic sections, the standard formula is this. Mm, I think it's that. Hold on a second. Let me. No want to take any chance that I'm giving you the wrong equation. So let me just find it in my book. That's what I have too, except um, the sides are switched. So the x minus h comes first, and then the 4p comes second. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't sound right to me. Hold up. Hold up. In other words... To me, the 4P always goes in front of the term that is not being squared. Hold on a moment. That's the way I remember it. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have, if it's at the origin, X squared equals 4PY, which is what I've written. Mm -hmm. If it is not, hmm, hold on, at the origin, hmm, it's not popping out at me in one of their green boxes. Hmm. Oddly enough, the parabola is the most difficult of the three. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is because it's a different format than you're used to. Mm -hmm. um, now, when you said it was the other way around, mm -hmm. um, that's true. Uh, this here is a parabola of the standard format that we're used to. Mm -hmm. If we do it the other way around, which is 
y minus k squared equals 4p mm -hmm. times x minus h. That's also a parabola, but mm -hmm. those parabolas look like this. Right. They're horizontal. Okay? And mm -hmm. the reason you never really discover these until you get to conic sections is because, notice, this is not a function. This, right. this does not pass the vertical line test. It's still a parabola. And mm -hmm. this is the equation of a parabola. But one way I kind of think about these is the up and down ones, that's always y equal x squared. Mm -hmm. The horizontal ones are always x equal y squared. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And as far as this new coefficient of 4p that's not anywhere there, mm -hmm. that's introduced because we now have something called the focus. We never knew about the focus when we looked at parabolas in the quadratic mode. Mm -hmm. But now that we look at them as conic sections, we know there's a focus right there, there's a focus right there, there's a focus there, and there's a focus there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the thing about the focus, the definition of it, is it is equidistant from anywhere on that line to this line called the directrix. Mm -hmm. In other words, the distance from there to there is the same as the distance from there to there. Mm -hmm. If I drew the directrix over here, I would draw it like that. The distance from there to there is the same as the distance from there to there. Right. And if I draw it on the horizontal if I put a directrix on there, the distance from there to there is the same as the distance from there to there. Okay. So you kind of have a new definition of parabola. And that new definition is it is the locus of points that are equidistant from a single focus or a directrix. Mm -hmm. This being the focus, this being the directrix. No okay. matter where I am on that parabola, if I draw a line to the parabola from the focus, it's going to be the same distance as if I draw a line from the point on that parabola perpendicular to the directrix. Right. Okay. So that's something okay. totally new that we haven't had to deal with before. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons they change the formula on you. Mm -hmm. Notice that this isn't that different than this. It's pretty okay. much A is 1 over 4P. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. But they insist upon using the P in the general equation. So let's work with that. In other words, let's do a problem. Okay, um, so I have find the vertex, focus, and directrix of the parabola x minus 1 squared equals negative 8, and then in parentheses, y plus 2. Where is the vertex of this? Hold, hold on a second. Let me think for a moment. Yeah, where's the vertex of this parabola? Um, First of all, is it a vertical or a horizontal parabola? Vertical. Correct, because it's of the form y equals x squared. Yeah. Is it a uh, downward facing or upward facing? Um, downward? Yeah, because of that negative 8. Okay. Okay, it doesn't matter if I want to 
take that negative sign to the other side. I can do so, but it's still negative. And where's mm -hmm. the vertex of this parabola? Um, let's see. What's H and what's K? Oh, um, so it would be 1 and negative 2, because don't you flip the sign? Correct. Okay. So there's the vertex at 1, comma, negative 2. Okay. And we've decided that it goes down, so that's the parabola. And now we need a couple of other things. We need the focus, and mm -hmm. we need the directrix, which yeah. is kind of an imaginary line. Okay. Well, we know the standard format is x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's p equal to? Um, she has 4p, so wouldn't it be negative 2? Correct. In other words, okay. that's 4p right there, what I okay. circled. Minus 8 yeah. is 4p. Okay, so minus 8 equals 4p, therefore p equals negative 2. Mm -hmm. That's down 2. So what's the coordinates on the focus? Um, so 1 and then negative 4. Uh-huh. Okay. And then what is the equation of the directrix? Um, K minus P. So, so that would equation, be... It's the equation of a horizontal line. So it's Y equals... Oh, okay. Okay, so that would be... Isn't it just zero? Yeah, y equals zero. It's not just zero. In other words, that's the equation of a line. Right. If I said zero, that's not really anything. I mean, that can be right. an x-coordinate, that can be a y-coordinate. But if I'm talking about a horizontal line, I need a y equals something. Mm -hmm. And it's zero because it is equidistant away from the vertex as the focus is. And mm -hmm. we can see that the focus is two units down from the vertex, so the directrix has to be two units up. So I didn't really draw it in the right place. I kind of hate it when they put it on the... That's the focus mm -hmm. line, or that's the directrix right there. Okay. Okay. So on parabolas, the general equations are either this or that. Okay. This is of the form x equal y squared. This is of the form y equal x squared. And you know what okay. I mean by that. In other words, if everything was at the origin. Yeah. Okay. So whenever you see an x and a y squared, you know it's going to be a horizontal parabola. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see a y and an x squared, you know it's going to be a vertical parabola. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any other problems? Maybe one that might be a vertical parabola. Um, I have find the standard form of the equation for the parabola with the vertex uh, 3, 4, and the focus 5, 4. All right. Let's draw it, and it'll tell us immediately as to whether we have a horizontal or a vertical. So if my vertex is at 3, 4, we'll call that 3, 4. Mm -hmm. And my focus is at 5, 4. Right there. Okay. 
Is this a horizontal or a vertical parabola? Uh, horizontal. Correct. In fact, it has to be a horizontal like that. In other words, it has to be a horizontal opening up to the left. Because the focus is always inside the parabola. Okay. Okay. In other words, if these two points were switched, it would open up to the right. So if you plot your vertex and you plot your focus and they're on the same coordinate axis like that, then it's definitely a horizontal, but it's not just a horizontal because the focus is to the left of the vertex. It's a horizontal mm -hmm. that opens up to the left. Okay. And that's going to give you the same thing that a downward parabola would give you, which is a negative sign. Right. So we better end up with, well, first of all, we're dealing with this kind up here mm -hmm. because it's horizontal. And secondly, we want to make sure that P ends up being a negative number, and you can tell that to get from the vertex to P, we do have to go to the left. Mm -hmm. That would be a negative number, and that would be consistent with this parabola opening up to the left. Okay. So if we use this formula up here, let's just fill in everything we know. What is P? Okay. Um, so for, isn't it just 2? Negative 2. Negative 2, okay. Because I'm going from the vertex to the left. Okay. Okay. And x minus what? Um, 3. Correct. Equals y minus what squared? Uh, 4. Okay. So right there. I rewrite that, I get minus 8 times x minus 3 equals y minus 4 squared. Okay. So I think you can probably see that if they give you the vertex and the focus, you can figure out everything else. If they give you the vertex and the directrix, you can figure out everything else. In other words, right. instead of giving us the focus, let's say they gave us the directrix. Well, we know the directrix is as far to the right from that vertex as the focus was. So mm -hmm. the directrix would have to be at 7, 4. Or, mm -hmm. uh, not 7, 4, excuse me, the directrix is the equation of a line. That's x equals 7. Okay. So, if they gave us the directrix and the focus, that's the same information as giving us the focus and the vertex. Mm -hmm. So they might give you all kinds of different types of information, and you have to go back and find the general equation. So the one that you absolutely have to remember is that one right there. Those two. Okay. two. And those two cover all horizontal or all vertical parabolas. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, we spent 18 minutes on parabolas. Do you want to talk about ellipses or hyperbolas? Um, yeah, let's do ellipses. Okay. Okay, so... It's a general, um, general formula. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Okay, so I have, um, for the standard equation, x minus h squared over b squared. Let's start with a square. Oh, okay. I'm, just, um, I'm doing that for a reason. Okay. Plus, uh, yeah, y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. That is for a horizontal ellipse. Yeah. There's also vertical ellipses. Mm-hmm. Well, 
that's horizontal. For a vertical ellipse, it's x minus h squared over b squared mm -hmm. plus, always plus, y minus k squared over a squared. Right. And the difference is, is that if I have a horizontal ellipse like that, well, A is always the longest radial line. In mm -hmm. other words, if you want to think of these ellipses as having a major radius and a minor radius. Okay. A is always the major radius. Okay. So in this horizontal ellipse, A is along the X coordinates. A is measured horizontally. So okay. it goes under the X. Right. If I had a vertical ellipse, then A is that distance. Okay. And B is that distance. Notice in the vertical ellipse, the A is measured along the Y axis. So mm -hmm. A is under the Y variable. Okay. Okay. The key thing about ellipses is that A is always bigger than B. Always. Doesn't matter okay. if it's a horizontal or a vertical, the major axis is A. Okay. Okay. And there's one other formula that's really important. And that's kind of something that looks like the Pythagorean theorem, only there's a minus sign there instead of a mm -hmm. plus sign, which makes C, and C is the distance to the focus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so even though C is not in your major equation, there's still this formula that C is the square root of A squared minus B squared. And that immediately tells you that A has to be bigger than B, because if you had an A that was smaller than B, you'd be taking the square root of a negative number. So mm -hmm. remember that. If you're ever working with ellipses and you go to figure out C and you get a square root of a negative number, you got your A and your B backwards. Okay. Okay? A always has to be bigger than B, but only for an ellipse, not for a hyperbola. It's different, okay. different for a hyperbola. Hyperbola, A and B can be anything relative to one another. Mm -hmm. But for an ellipse, A has to be bigger than B. There's also always a plus sign. There's no negative signs anywhere. Okay. When you get to a hyperbola, just to be clear, let's talk about that, because this isn't a bad place to distinguish the difference. Mm -hmm. It's a negative sign between the two. Okay. And there's no restriction on A and B. A can be bigger than B, B can be bigger than A. However, if we're talking a horizontal hyperbola like that, mm -hmm. the negative sign is in front of the Y. Okay. If we're talking a vertical hyperbola, like this, the negative sign is in front of the x. So the equation for this would be y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. Mm -hmm. So a is always measured along the axis that is in between the two vertices. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is A right here, from here to here. Okay. B, there's actually an imaginary rectangle that you don't mm -hmm. really see, and B is the other measurement. B is from there to there. And what's the purpose of that rectangle? Well, if I put diagonals through it, 
this hyperbola is actually asymptotic with those diagonals. Right, yeah. Okay, so the hyperbola goes something like that. And so even though you don't see this imaginary rectangle, it is what A and B are all about. Mm -hmm. And if you're trying to graph it, you want to put it in there because you can't really graph the hyperbola until you get those diagonals. Right. Okay. But as far as the difference between a hyperbola and an ellipse, it's pretty much this negative sign. Mm -hmm. In other words, an ellipse is never going to have a negative sign. It's always going to be positive, regardless mm -hmm. of whether the y is there and the x is there or vice versa. Right. As a hyperbola, the negative sign immediately tells you it's a hyperbola. And then if it's in front of the y, it's a horizontal hyperbola. If it's in front of the x, it's a vertical hyperbola. Okay. And A always is with the longest axis. Okay. In other words, A is from there to there, always. Okay. I shouldn't say the longest axis. It's not necessarily the longest axis. It's the axis that you would draw between the two vertices. In other words, if I take my two vertices and draw a straight line through it, that measurement is always A. Right, okay. okay. If I have a hyperbola like this, this measurement is always A. Okay. Now, conic sections are not something that can be covered in a half an hour. Okay. Especially with parabola. Oh, we have another half hour coming up. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, good for you for realizing that. <laughs> in fact, I'm not sure it can be covered in a full hour, but uh, yeah. we'll try. And uh, she, uh, Yeah, she only really briefly went over it, so I'm not sure that'll be a big part of our quiz. Hyperbolas? Uh, conic sections. Oh, yes, really? Conic oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's circles also. There's actually four conic sections. What's, yeah. What's the general formula for a circle? Um, let's see. Everything's always X minus H. You okay. never have X plus H. In fact, if you are familiar with these things, mm -hmm. uh, no matter what you're talking about, it's always X minus H. You won't run into an X plus H until you get to calculus. Okay. So if you're ever questioning whether it's X minus H or X plus H, know that it's X minus H until you get to calculus. Okay. I can't think of a single thing that's not X minus H. Right. This is the equation of a circle. What's, all, right. what's H and K? Um, the uh, Would that the be the vertex? Center. Center, okay. The center. In other words, the only thing important about a circle is where its center is and what its radius is. Okay. Okay, well, H and K are the center and R is the radius. Okay. So circles are really easy. And there's no focus with a circle. Okay. Okay, there's only focuses with parabolas, ellipses, and hyperbolas. Okay. All right, that's probably a good place to stop for our first half hour session. Okay. For our second half hour session, let's work on problems, just like you gave okay. me in this session. Only yeah, that sounds good. You pick which ones you want to do. Okay. Okay? Yep. All right, I will talk to you at 5.30, Emma. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.